Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be showing how we make really cool backgrounds in Camtasia 9. All right, so let me show you the kinds of backgrounds I'm talking about. And there's a million ways to make cool backgrounds in Camtasia 9. But let me show you how I did this particular one because I got some comments on it. And people ask me how I did it. So I'm going to show you in Arit's latest cover video, Havana. I'm going to show you the background that I'm talking about. So let me just play this here. Let me just end that off there. Oh, there's no sound. Sorry. Okay. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my acapella cover, Havana, originally sung by Camila Cabello. Alright, so this is the background that I'm talking about. So it looks really cool. It's got like a, it's almost like a cool wallpaper pattern that's happening. It's like a pineapple and there's a teal happening and Arit standing in front of it. Now this is a really cool way to have a cool looking background if you've got like a boring gray one happening behind you. Alright, so I'm here in Camtasia 9. And first of all, for this to even be possible, you need to have filmed yourself in front of green screen because you need to be able to remove the background from your original video so that you can put in this new background. Now, if you are not putting yourself on there, then it doesn't matter if you use green screen or not. If you want to just use this for text or just whatever in your projects, then, you know, that's fine to do. So first thing we actually need to do is we actually need to create the background itself, these pineapples here. And you can't actually do that in Camtasia 9 because they don't have this type of media. So you need to create it somewhere else. And luckily, there's somewhere really simple that you can do this. Now, I'm going to show you a website called flaticon.com. And it's a website that has like a bunch of different kinds of small images, icons that you can use in your videos. Now, it might be different if you're looking at this later on, but right now you basically go on Flat Icon and you scroll down and you find this here. This is their latest uh, app to create really cool patterns. Now, let's click Try Now, and let's recreate that, that pineapple pattern. So, you want to type into the search whatever you're looking for. So, if you want, like, cool sushi in the background, or a shoe in the background, or you're doing a shoe review, or whatever, whatever you want in the background, type it in there and see if they have an image on it. So, let's do that pineapple. Um, actually... Hold on one second, let me head over to icons because they have packs of icons and then just icons and I want the icons only. So I want the pineapple and you know I specifically chose the pineapple because the song is called Havana and you know like tropical theme and I put the teal background behind it so that's where I was going with with that. So let's see here which one was the pineapple that I used. So as you can see, they have like a whole bunch of different kinds. Now it doesn't really matter which one you use, but this is just an example here. Let me see if I can find the exact one. There's so many, I can't even remember which one it was. Maybe it was this one? Let's just say it was this one. So when you click on the icon, it's going to pop up like that. And you're like, whoa, there's six of them. Well, we want to arrange them so that it creates a pattern, and I have a system for doing this. So what you want to do is click on this and drag it all the way to the top corner. Now you could a little add a little slant to it if you want, and you do that by clicking the circle. And you can go like that, and you can make it bigger or smaller. I like to have them just like this kind of size and let's keep them slanted. Now from here, we want to duplicate what we just did. So don't go back and click on here with the original pineapple. You want to keep it clicked on here with this one that I have on the actual page here. And you want to click on duplicate where it has like the two gingerbread man. Click on that and it's going to duplicate it. From here, you're actually going to highlight it and move it 
over here. When you do this, it's going to create the perfect pattern. Um, it's going to be symmetrical and everyone's going to be all in their place and it's going to look really cool. So as you can see here, you can kind of, we can move this down just slightly, but you can see here that it's starting to look like a pattern, right? Now I've played around with this a bit, so this is the easiest way to get it. You can play around and get other different types of patterns, but this is how I did it. Then you want to head over to this tab over here that says BG. This right now has a white background. If it has a white background, then your background is going to have a white background. But you want to be able to change the colors to, you know, whatever you want. So what I do is I put this all the way down to zero to keep it at a transparent background. And then you want to head over to download and you want to change the dimensions a little bit. You can play around with this, but typically we do something like 1500 and then, oops, 5000. And then 5,000 and it creates something like this from here you want to download this and then you want to go over into Camtasia 9 and upload it from there so let's head over to Camtasia 9 so let's pretend like you did all that stuff you want to import that into your media so you can either click this or the plus sign and then let's import that so pineapple, I got my pattern here, it's here, it's like very similar to the one I just showed you how to do. Now let's drag this onto the timeline and I actually want to change the dimensions to what I usually have it at, so let's change it to... 720 is what I usually have it at. Apply. Okay. Now you have a whole bunch of pineapple here. And you can arrange it the way you'd like. So you can have them bigger or smaller. In this particular video, what I did was I had two side by side. So I'm just going to go like this and size them. And I'm just going to go highlight this, control C, control V, and there's another one. I'm going to slide it over here. And I'll slide this one all the way to the end. You can play around, we can move it just a little bit more. Okay, so now you've got this like pineapple pattern, which looks pretty cool. So what we did, what I did in there was I wanted a teal color to make it very summery because the song was called Havana. So I took a white shape, you can take the black one, doesn't matter. i change it to the teal color here. Change this outline to teal. Size it accordingly. Make sure that the shape, the color shape, which is going to be the background of the pineapple pictures, it needs to be below the pineapple because if I go and put it on the top, it's just going to cover the pineapple. So it needs to be below so it's behind it. And I'll just shape it here to fit the screen. And you see it's starting to look really cool. It's really fun, tropical, and you see when I put Arit in front of that, see here? put her in front of that. Let me know if you like this. It looks really cool like and she was wearing a teal t-shirt too and so it looked really fun so if you're doing like a fun type video or if you're not even in front of it like it's cool to have text. I'll show you what text looks like in front of it. Uh, let me just scroll here. But you see right here there's some text here it's getting kind of covered by this but you can see that you know a uh, really bold text looks really cool on this as well. So I kind of made this method up myself. I wanted a cool background and Camtasia 9 didn't really offer me anything in the media. They didn't have any, obviously, any pineapple icons. So I made myself one. 
You can make yourself, like, I mean, if you have Photoshop and you're really good in Photoshop or if you have Canva, like, you can do this in any type of graphic designing software. I just showed you Flat Icon because it's just, it's really easy in that particular software to make patterns. And then you just import it. Make sure you've got a transparent background so that you can change the color of the background. Like, for instance, if you didn't want this to be the teal green, let's say I want it to be... Uh, purple or something. Oh, that's even, that looks even cool too. You know, it's just so vibrant and alive. And, you know, I'm actually thinking of, you know, having more backgrounds like this when we're doing some tutorial videos because I think it actually looks really cool and fun. So that is it. That is my method for creating this type of cool background in Camtasia 9. So if I was able to help you out at all, please let me know by giving us a like, a comment, or subscribe. And you know what? I would ask you guys a favor, if you enjoyed this video, please go and subscribe to Arit's music channel. We're really trying to grow that one basically from zero. I will have the links to her channel down in the description below. If I was able to help you out with any Camtasia 9 video, please subscribe to her channel. It would really mean a lot to us. And if you want more Camtasia 9 tutorials, free Camtasia 9 tutorials, head down to the description below because I have a whole bunch more for free for you guys. And if you have a specific question on a Camtasia 9 tutorial that I have not done, please put it down in the comments below and I may just create a video on it. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Back, back, back from the dead.